We're in New York at a uh, ICE protest because they've been trying to enforce the laws on the Greyhound buses, and so we've got a little bit of LARPing going on, and uh, some nice tribal drums, some chants, some <laughs> Trump. It's pretty interesting. It's a good display. I'm, I'm very, very pro the display. Okay, so what's this protest about? So it's about ICE uh, detaining immigrants off of Greyhound buses, just getting on and grabbing them and going. Well, what is, I guess, what is this trying to stop? Just that going on? So that's going on. So there, ICE is. So a lot of different groups are here to either say abolish ICE, smash ICE, and to stand with solidarity with immigrant workers and immigrant populations, especially here in New York City. Uh, but especially with what happened in Mississippi with the detainment of a lot of immigrants and you know their chi children who are citizens, not knowing what to do, being separated from their parents and the overall immigration uh, situation right now. What do you think would be some of the benefits of abolishing ICE? So, we say abolish ICE. Um, no, we actually, no, I don't say abolish ICE, because if you abolish it, you're just going to create another uh, enforcement agency. You know, INS, ICE, what's next? You just come up with a new acronym to use. So we say smash ICE, the, to let the refugees in, full citizenship rights to all immigrants. And that's our political line. So the benefits of like abolishing or just getting rid of any sort of immigration custom enforcement institution would just be so that everyone can like come in and stuff like that without harassment? So, obviously, well, I'm for international socialist revolution, so I don't also say open borders because Cuba, you know, you say Cuba open borders, that means you're allowing capitalism to come in. So I don't say open borders, I say let the refugees in, I say to grant full citizenship rights to all immigrants, but those demands are not going to be met because the Democratic and Republican Party, the U.S. needs the immigration to exploit them, to exploit the workers. You don't believe in borders and then you also identify as you said an international socialist? So, the border question is, you're confusing. Rip in the chat. We just wanted to learn about socialism. What fascist coding trick? That cool little, you know, accommodating the signage of, of a culture and then calling it white supremacist to get the left wing media figured out. You know, I asked her a question about this protest. Would you okay, like simple man? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you you guys are basically switch and co opt imagery because that's what fascism does. You think I'm a fascist? I do. Why? Like because space of my sports hat. hat and would, yeah. Yeah. Like man to man, that's kind of funny though. Like Space Force? Mm -hmm. Like that's kind of funny. Right. right. It's a joke. You know, cool. So who do you guys work for? I will, I did it by myself. I just upload this stuff to YouTube. I don't work with anybody. Like Prison Planet at Gmail dot right. No, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not with Gotcha Boy. I'm not with Laura Lumer. Okay. You, you soy boy. Epic content. <laughs> I just wanted to, just wanted to ask about socialism. Uh, I don't know. They saw the Space Force hat. We're gonna melt the ice and we're gonna shut Greyhound down. Yeah. We want the community and people in general to know that this is this is an activity that's that Trump has encouraged them to do to make people hate immigrants. You know, you think that's why he's doing it, so that they hate immigrants? Well, of course. I mean, doesn't he? Uh, this is about uh, Greyhound allowing ICE onto buses to arrest people. So, I've heard, talked to some other people, they say that they want to abolish ICE. Is that something that you're in support of? Yeah, of course. Would you want to replace it with anything? Why? I don't know, I'm just asking, because a lot of people think that we should enforce like our immigrations and customs laws and everything. Would you say that we need to enforce our immigration laws or we shouldn't have any immigration laws? Immigration laws, yes. <clears throat> Putting children in concentration camps? No. At the camps at the southern border you're talking about? Absolutely. It's disgraceful. Why do you think Trump is doing that? white racist, white supremacist constituency. Why do you think he's doing it? I don't know. Do you think that everybody that supports him is like a white supremacist? Yeah, they're garbage. You're too young to remember who Trump was in the 1980s and 1990s. I was living in New York. Hey, why didn't you want your friend to talk to me earlier? Why didn't you want your friend to talk to me? He said I was from Gab. I think it's because your ideas won't withhold criticism. You guys want to talk about the protest? No? Would you like to talk about... What's that? 
I was just asking him questions. What do you think about immigrants? What do I think about immigrants? I like immigrants. Huh? I like immigrants. Do you like immigrants? Of course, I, I do. So you guys want to just abolish the ICE, the Immigration and Customs Enforcement? Too many bulls. Within ICE? That's the matter. We, after all, we're not animals, bro. You are white, you are an immigrant. You are white, you are an immigrant. I was born here, I'm not an immigrant. If you are white, you're not from here. Yes, I am, because I was born in Michigan. I know white people come from Europe. I mean, you know. Come from Africa, that's what they say. You know, be honest with you, be honest with you. I'm white, just like you, Yeah. and we're all immigrants. But, like my three, four, five descendants, I'm a Native American too. So we all immigrants, bro. Be honest with you, we all f***ing immigrants. We not animals, we not freaking birds or dogs or whatever it is. We are all immigrants. So this country is built by immigrant people. I disagree. Do you, want, do you mind if I explain why? I would say I disagree because the country wasn't built by people immigrating to a country that was already established. It was built by settlers that established the country in which they intended to reside. Defending settler colonialism? Absolutely. Okay. Manifest destiny? You don't, what's wrong with that? I mean, this is the result of that. That's right. Yeah. You, you got your choice to talk. Of course. This is why we need Yeah, you'll do it. We're on public property. You have no reasonable expectation of privacy. What do you mean we're done? I need a police officer to tell me that. So, we're having a civil conversation with my buddy here about. Uh, this is public property. Yes, sir. Four languages. How many languages? Four? Which ones? Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, and English. I barely, I spoke English, I took French in high school. Why don't you guys want to have discussion? Why are you so afraid to defend your ideas? It was a good, it was, he, he was like, you can explain yourself. And then he was, Why are you telling him that he can't speak to me? He and I were having a civil conversation. Why are you so afraid? You can leave now. He was having a conversation with me. I was asking about your ideas. This country is fascist enough as it is. Fascist? This is freedom of speech. That's not fascism. You have an elementary understanding. You don't even know why you're here. You <laughs> You guys have no idea what fascism is. Fascism is the antithesis of free speech. This is free speech. This is free speech. Why do you hate free speech? Exactly. And so have you. Everyone has free speech because we have a constitutional democracy. Who doesn't have free speech in this country? Are you kidding me? I, I guess not. Who? There were 600 people that were arrested at their job because they tried to unionize and they're now sitting in an immigration detention. You have no reasonable. You call that free speech? You have no reasonable expectation of First Amendment. I guess I got owned. You have no expectation of freedom of speech in the workplace. Same reason NFL protesters aren't justified to protest. You and I were we were having a nice dialogue though. Like we, we had a thing going on. So we're trying to just have a civil dialogue. And this is ours. We're on public property. Okay. Yeah. I don't get against Donald Trump, I don't get against no immigrant. But you know what? We all f don't immigrants. Talk to the so f Donald Trump. Okay. You see, don't you're don't entitled to, to your opinion. You're entitled. I'm not a fascist. I'm so not a fascist. Like, what's fascism? Define fascism. Listen, you white as me. Listen, you white as me. So, we got told uh, by the officer it was time to go, because Buddy was saying, <laughs> I was over there asking him questions, he's like, go away fascist, stop it. I was like, dude, come on.